Hey YouTube, what is up everybody? How's it going? I am up to two hours in my train. Um, pretty much. The reason why I decided to do back it up to two hours again because I'm thinking about maybe joining a school. Um, maybe later on down the road, so I'm gonna try to get back in top physical shape. And I might start competing again. I don't know yet. I'm kind of watering on that if I should start competing again. You know, just to see where my skill set is and everything else. And the thing of it is, is that I wish, you know, I could. I, I'm thinking about really, really joining the school. I really don't know yet. But I just can't really seem to really find a good school that teaches, you know, what you want to learn. And most schools, you know, they just teach you like to tap at the opponent. You know, they don't teach you like to hit hardcore, you know, like how they do in Kumite, you know, and stuff like that. And unless if you go to Taekwondo Olympics, and, you know, if you do National Olympics Taekwondo training. Then you hit full force and everything else, but it's just I kind of miss the competition, you know. I kind of miss the competition game, and I kind of miss the sparring. And it's just I want to, you know, see where my skill level is. May it be in boxing, maybe in taekwondo, maybe be in karate. I don't know yet. You know, it's just you know. I want to test my skill out, you know, I want to be able to test my ability out, see where I'm at out of all this time that I've been training alone. And I'm really thinking about rejoining a Taekwondo gym. There is one, but they are open at 6 to 7 on Mondays and Thursdays. And... I don't get off till 4.30, they'll give me probably an hour just to, you know, grab my gi and then, um, turn around and, uh, just go in there just to train and stuff like that, you know, and it's like, so, it's like, I don't feel like I want to have to feel like I'm rushing on things, but, you know, I might do that, consider doing that later on down the road, um, when I get probably a little bit more money saved up, um, that's going to be my next goal, is probably find me a school that's suitable for me, I, and there is another school at the lake, um, it's called ATA Martial Arts, um, which, you know, I do have a black belt there, you know, I could get go to rejoin that gym, but it, it was just a commercial gym, it was a commercial gym, basically they just did the same thing over and over and over, and same routine over and over and over, same drills, same patterns, over and over and over, same workouts, over and over and over, and which, I felt like I wasn't really learning anything in ATA martial arts, and so that's the reason why I quit the school, when I went to, um, the one in Kimiton, the Kimiton Black Belt Academy, when they was open under Tom Lee, um, which he taught pretty good Taekwondo, and which I really liked because he taught what I wanted to learn. He taught self defense, he taught um, the kicking arts, he taught the forms, weapons everything but they are closed and ever since they closed I hadn't really found a good school um, so I might consider since it's like the cheapest school there ever is um, in Eldon I might end up joining the school I might end up joining putting down $25 or 20 or 30 dollars down a month just for lessons I might consider that you know, I might just go see, you know, if, hey, you know, I like to get a first class out and let me think on 
you know, if I want to, you know, be able to, uh, get trained on and by that person in that system. So it'd be, it'd probably be a while on that, but since it's like, it says it gets night real early and everything, since it gets dark real early, I'm not really used to driving at night. So that'll be another thing I'll have to get used to, but I might wait till probably after winter and when things are starting to open up more and that way the snow will be going by and that way I won't have to worry about, you know, driving in the snow, worry about blizzards and stuff like that, going to class and all that and I have to turn around and go back. So I might end up waiting until summer and do it and then and just tell them, you know, I'd like to join the Taekwondo school and redo Taekwondo again. I've done it before. I got up to red belt in the system, but uh, and I also got a black belt in another style of Taekwondo. But the way the instructor taught it to me, the one, the system that he taught me in that Taekwondo, the one I got black belt, he taught me more of the karate way. He didn't really teach me the Taekwondo way. He taught me on how to use my fists in that system. Which, you know, that was alright, but it just wasn't enough. And it was just, it, I just felt like I want to learn more. I want to expand my knowledge on learning different things. So it's like, when you train alone so long, so much, you kind of get bored training alone. You, you kind of get tired of training alone. You know, doing the same repetitions over and over and over, and but just by yourself, not really knowing where your progress is at and all that. Even though you do save money, you know, I don't mind saving money and stuff like that. But, you know, thing it is about the school, you know, there's no contract, you know. Uh, you don't have to sign anything or anything like that. You know, you can just up and quit anytime you want. And that's what the person told me over the phone. And which, you know, I kind of like that. You know, no contract, you know, no... Uh, no contract signing stuff, you know, it's kind of like a cricket, you know, in a way, you know, you have no con contract to sign, you just go in and pay for a phone, pay for service, and bam, you got a phone. You know, it's kind of like that, but, which, you know, I'm kind of eerie on it, because I don't, like I said, you know, it's been a while since I joined the school, I might be a little rusty, I might, you know, not really fit in. With the other students and it's just because every time when I go somewhere and train people just kind of look at me different because they know I'm training you know I look different I'm built different you know they kind of look at me kind of funny and just on how I do things and so it's like I really don't care but it's just comes to the point where you know I do want to join a school, but I just got to build my courage, go back to a school and learn the sport of Taekwondo, you know, maybe start competing again, you know, maybe going to tournaments and stuff like that, you know, if they have them. Um, what I want to do is get my sparring game on um, with some people, you know, train with, you know, not to really fight fight. But, like, just basically, you know, train my combinations, train my drills, you know, see where I need to be at in my conditioning and stuff like that. And see on what I lack on and train and stuff like that. And see if I'm telegraphing or if I'm not telegraphing on my techniques. Um, there are some times I feel like I'm... And on some certain techniques, you know, on my kicking, I feel like my left leg, I do telegraph it, um, but my right leg, I'm like, cool. I don't telegraph it, but my left leg, I feel like I do telegraph my kicks with it, and but I can't really tell if... If um, I don't join a school, 
So I'll probably do that once winter gets over with, and that way, you know, I could have something to do for the summer. That way it'll give me something to try out during summer time when it's warm and everything else. So it's like I said, just, you know, train hard, train smart, do your research before you join a gym. Uh, you don't really have to join a gym and if you don't want to, but me, it's like, that's no other, that's more of an option. But me, I want to, probably after summer, like I said, it's going to be after summer. That'll be my next goal is to join a gym, you know, expand my knowledge on martial arts again and get back into full training. I really don't want to join a McDojo, but the way the school is, it sounds like a McDojo school because the way the lady said, you know, Oh, if you're already a black belt, you get to keep your rank, and you don't have to start over, and stuff like that, and there's no contracts, and it's like $30 a month, whatever, and it's like, it sounds like a Madojo to me, but I don't know yet, I really don't know, it's like, I wonder what you guys think of the topic, you know, if I should join that school or not, you know. Or just to go check it out, just see what it's about, and then go from there, you know. That's the only thing I can do. But I really don't want to get caught in the money, you know, joining the school and get caught in the money, paying somebody to teach me. So, been there, done that, and I really don't want to go back doing that, but... You know, I might go there and just try it out, you know, just see on where, what the person's about and, you know, see how they teach and, you know, that's the thing. And it's just, that's how I see it. So, probably in the future, I'll probably end up joining school, but I ain't going to join a school anytime soon. But, you know, I was wondering if you think that's a McDojo or not. You know, if you don't have a contract, you pay like $30 a month. For no contract on learning martial arts and you get to keep your old rank so because most schools nowadays they'll make you start over and they won't even let you have a black belt your, your original belt from your original style so there you have it folks um my talk about me joining martial arts school maybe in the future. I really don't know yet. I've been talking about that for a while, but I just don't know yet. I'm just trying to find a good price of a good school. Um, somewhere close where maybe I can start learning. And I do have a buddy that likes to train too, you know. Me and him might just get together and just train, share ideas and work out together and stuff like that. Who knows? Um, but till then, you know, Stay safe out there, you know, be careful and train hard, train smart, do your research before you do anything. And like I said, just be yourself, be who you are and God bless. Peace.